conflicts in the entire Achola region is fast getting out of hand. More than 80% of the cases revolve around land tension. After over 22 years of the Lord's Resistance Army, many people moved from their internally displaced people's camps and returned to their homes. But this return has not been smooth. It was and is still punctuated by land conflicts characterized by land grabs, unclear boundaries, inheritance challenges and land-related abuse of child and women rights. Oftentimes, tensions have led to violence, leaving over 85% of land unutilized. With much of the land not plowed, poverty is common in many homes. Most of the affected include women, widows, children and the elderly whose land rights are catered for under Article 237 of the 1995 Uganda Constitution. Other cultural biases that land can only be owned by men have left many widows landless. After being away for many years with no clear documentation and marked boundaries, many can hardly trace their exact pieces of land. It is such gaps that have and continue the land conflicts in Acholi land. To come to the rescue of the Acholi people in the face of violence and hunger, the land question requires urgent treatment. It is for this reason that Action Aid, in partnership with Legal Aid Service Providers Network, organized week-long legal aid clinics in Pader and Amuru districts. The clinics, conducted by paralegals and lawyers, were charged with teaching people about land rights, offer legal advice as well as aid victims of land grabs access justice like illegal lengthy detentions, commitment to higher courts, denial of bail and bond address to. Access to land is a human right. In Amuru, the team was welcomed by a brass band along the three-kilometer march stretching from Aware Trading Center to Lamogi sub-county. Citizens welcomed the week-long workshops as a means to educate all stakeholders involved in land wrangles the locals, the police, as well as tribal leaders, among others. At Lamogi, most district leaders acknowledge land tensions as a leading development stumbling block in Amuro. When we talk about land and land issues or land related issues in Amuro, I feel so, so disturbed. And disappointed. I, I have ask, never enjoyed uh, my leadership because of the land related issues. Due to the many land cases, the team set up camp in Lamogi and at Yak, where a total of 240 cases were recorded. Other engagements also attracted 76 leading culture leaders, 96 women, and youth. Most cultural leaders demanded for a place in solving the land issues, citing the mainstream courts as expensive and therefore unfavorable for the ordinary citizen in Amuru. The court doesn't know what is there on the ground. See? Even the lawyer, they don't know what is there on the ground. Those elders whom they are there, they know. Where I was here, Udong was here. He was digging stop here because they are the one who know. Because now the problem of land we are, we are getting here, as me as a thief, if someone who have money is the one going to win the court. More dialogues were held in Atiak Market Square and Lamogi and Atiak sub counties. In all these centers, legal aid clinics sensitized and offered awareness on land issues. The legal teams also offered answers to many questions. Most of the findings reveal women and children are the main victims of the land question. In the storm of the land question is Margaret Ladwog of Pagoroka, Lamogi in Amuro. Like many widows in Amuru, Margaret lost her land to a neighbor, a one Dennis Aneka. 
She now lives with her children and grandchildren as a squatter in this village. She says Oneka grabbed their land after the LRA insurgency. Her problem was further compounded by the death of her husband in 2007. Since then, attempts to settle or grow crops in her land have been futile. Access to justice has also been a far cry as Oneka has used the police to destroy anything they erect on the land. Local council leaders ran to her aid but could not do much. Margaret now finds herself caught between a rock and a hard place, yet she has to battle on to fend for her people. She now lives off stone quarrying. Ato Vicky. She too is in a losing battle of eight acres of land. During the LRA war, squatters settled on her land in Parabekatiak, but she now has an uphill task to reclaim it back. It was to get the local chiefs to help her have fallen on deaf ears as women in Acholi traditionally do not own land. Anya to Vicky. Government of Wajoni down Obin Ikam. Down Obin Ikam area of Baban. So down Beru, Karma down Beru. Don't you want it down the Cochin gang? Karma down the dog gang, you can do nothing on which I want. Maggie Deggy Doggy gang. Don't give Nagitic at Timoki Largi and King Om. Ancon Migina don't wank pay, Babana be pay, Mamana be pay. But don't want a real one no matter and no matter keep bow. Anna ye da dung gang kena. Do it chawani, petty kid you, mama mira riem ki jum u don y kam enon. Yap bedun ki pierre eriawa. Wang fuka fur kuman ki chor legi bin chamo wang. Mwaka gimwa na tila kit. Si kwanya ngo mura kwanya pi an. She is now stranded and often goes hungry. The land grabbers with impunity usually destroy even the few crops she tries to grow on the remaining piece of land. <laughs> Vicky is not alone. Albina Ariemo from Cherry Village, Pabo, in Amuru, is in similar distress. Her family's 40-acre piece of land has also been snatched from her. After so many years in the IDP camp, she can hardly trace original boundaries of her land. She is currently involved in a bitter fight with her neighbors. As she takes the legal team to see the land, extra care is taken to avoid her violent neighbors. We finally reach her grab land. Teacher, I don't want to tell you about LC. Give what query? What query be no nano? LC for me, oh, Palan board, what query? What query be no nano? Chimani Chawani, what tin or tin of your dugo can? Anna Tia put car, Lanyaka look in a cherry over board LC, don't get chwala, cherry board word query. It's all about LC, local chumuti about LC, Mati e court e put. Very chang a bitchy el mabino en. And I don't give no can one one can carry your tal. Check in Peggy O, Kagalong again Peggy O, a temango, and I wear a maro lion, which are carried board to gang. On the way back, the neighbors have already gotten wind of her presence in the area. In protest, one of the neighbors waylays the team and blocks the convoy by lying in the middle of the road. Together with her relatives, she attempts to attack Albina and the legal team. But the persuasive tongue of one of the team leaders saves the day. But for Albina, the fear and tension carries on. Besides the LRA war that provided a gap for land grabbers, other issues affecting women is culture, 
which denies them ownership of land. Last Nets Benabachide said all issues raised will inform policy, citing the need for people in positions of responsibility to uphold the principles of equity and justice at all times. The main purpose of these dialogues was to further enhance or sensitize them on land-related matters. We have also, these dialogues also focused on issues related to their constitutional rights or their constitutional mandates as cultural leaders or women and youth. We also focused on women and property rights. In the same voice, Action Aids Timothy Kabale said the experience was insightful, adding that the information gathered will go a long way in getting lasting solutions to the problem. The nature of the challenges are legal, uh, human rights related, and have a bearing on the livelihood and the poverty levels in the area where we serve. So we have, we have teamed up with the Legal Aid Service Providers Network to uh, break ground on this issue as we prepare to tackle the wider challenge of land grabs as an international campaign in, within Action Aid Uganda. In another Acholi district of Pader, the sound is in the air. The legal team was welcomed with the band. After a long procession, the first dialogue followed. Land justice is a human right. That's our theme. Long may you tell the dear mama no artikani or berka watani la rino tal femiro chimu wang nori moni and of miro ripu dana ye kachel. Peggy ribu peggy wajuni in meri yin la bal wame in the pemigi and of ripu dano. We have book walk a chill kid a yanki walk ere lu dear wak walk ere and a rino tal wajo kit eno. Ana poem mata nya medi wukum nya of wallo albetino. From. Similar meetings were to follow in Pajule Trading Center, Kila Corner, Ogon Sub County, and Awere Sub County headquarters in subsequent days. Like Kamuru, land tension in Pader is a hot issue. Many families continue to lose their land to grabbers while others suffer violent attacks. He is claiming that this that we have encroached, and yet I was the, the first person to tell him that you have what encroached because this part belongs to us. These trees have grown because the the, the, the area was not being ploughed. So during the insurgency, we had run away and we left this part. For him, he was ploughing. So when I last year, but one, I told him, I said, you have encroached. Why don't you stick to you to to the land that was sold to you? After many years in the camps due to the LRA war, most orphaned youth, widows and children cannot trust their family land. It is now a case of first come, first serve, a system that has left many homeless. The gender aspect also remains an unresolved issue. <laughs> most widows are denied access to property of their late husbands by in-laws cecilia adong fell prey to this greed when her husband died last year by the time of his death they had acquired two plots of land a residential home and building but it was not long before her in-laws grabbed it all 
Even the commercial building for the family income is no more. Her quest for justice from police and court has seen her in-laws disown her. Adong's case is just a tip of the iceberg of similar cases brought to the fore during the legal week. Yeah, they, they, they came, over 10, over 20 of them from the village. The legal team also announced many instances of delayed justice. Here in Kinan Prison in Pader, many inmates' cases have never been heard. The facility is full and yet the hope for resolving their cases remains far-fetched. The district does not have a chief magistrate and only relies on one from a neighboring district. We have 143 plus four children, which is too much for the single room. We don't have a chief magistrate in the prison, I mean, the district. The only chief magistrate who give assistance comes from Chitgum and it takes long to come to Pade. That one is causing unnecessary delay in prison, especially the prison who were before the chief magistrate. But as they wait for justice, they have to contend with digging for long hours in the scorching sun, as well as poor feeding and congestion. They have to walk for hours to court and seeing a magistrate is rare. Some have spent six months in this uncertainty. Nonetheless, the legal aid brought a lot of excitement and offered a listening ear to many in the district. At the end of the week, there was reason to celebrate and look forward to justice. It was generally observed that justice delayed is justice denied. This is further compounded with absence of magistrates, corruption, ineffective ELCs and poor district and land committees.